Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a declutter of my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I have first everything laid out over here for all of my bronzers. I have um, pretty much just powder bronzers. I have like one sort of liquid and then I have a couple creams that we're going to be going through. And I got a bunch of new um, like bronzer, blush, and highlights and I feel like I just have some things in my collection that I feel ready to kind of get rid of uh, since I have a ton of new stuff that I'm way more excited about. So I guess we will go ahead and get started with all my bronzers. So first one I have is this one here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand and I have mine in the shade Fair Medium. So I will be doing swatches of everything as well just so you can see. And this one is a really good kind of contour color. Even if I just go ahead and blend that out a little bit. I also just took my Apple Watch off so... That looks a little funny that's why but this is a really nice cool tone color and it's a really good liquid bronzer and it's also pretty expensive and it's really not that old it's probably about six months old so i'm definitely going to hold on to that one then for my cream bronzers i have these three over here my first one that i have is this elf one this is the putty bronzer in the shade honey drip so this one is really really good if you can see in here i have hit pan on it i actually should probably just try and use this up because I forgot I had long nails. Uh, let me actually just get a little bit off the side. That way I can at least do a swatch for you so you can see the color. But this is a really, really smooth and really sort of lightweight formula on the skin. It's like a cream to powder sort of finish. It's a lot warmer than the Charlotte Tilbury one and of course like way more creamy. So I do really like this and this is my original cream bronzer that kind of got me into cream bronzer. So I definitely would like to keep that. Then my other cream bronzer that I have is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The packaging on this is so nice. It's like a soft matte and it has like their gold logo. And I have mine in the shade Amber, which I think is like the second lightest shade. And you can see I also have a pretty decent dip going on in here. And this one I think is very similar to the one from e.l.f. shade is a little bit different. This one is a little bit more pigmented and not as sort of creamy as the e.l.f. one. This one is, I would say this one is more emollient, whereas the other one is almost sort of more powdery. But I do like both of them, and I've been using this one like pretty much every day since I got it, and I do really, really like it. So I am going to hold on to this one as well, and it's also pretty new. Then this one here is from Primark. This is the PS Bronze Whip Velvet Finish Cream Bronzer, and I don't think this has a shade. I'm pretty sure this was the only shade that they had. And this one is okay. It's very, very orangey. Like, you could see it literally just like looks straight orange, especially when you'll see when I swatch them next to the other ones it literally is just like orange the formula is very similar to the elf one i think that this one blends away a little bit more like if you are using this with a brush on your face you need to go into this like way more often but yeah i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one but now i believe we are left with just my powder bronzers so first one i have this is my probably my newest one actually my newest one literally just came in the mail today which i forgot to throw in here actually still in the box this is the dior forever natural bronze this is the one in the really, really pretty packaging, in like that quilted sort of packaging. And I posted a picture of it on my Instagram story today. And I mean, it is just stunning. It's so, so pretty, this Dior one. Really love it. Uh, it even comes with this. I haven't even swatched it yet, so I guess we'll kind of see the swatch. This actually seems pretty dark. I got mine in the shade 5. Based on the swatches online, I didn't think it was going to be too dark. Um, oh yeah, that is definitely not too dark at all. It looks way darker in the pan, I feel like, than how it swatches. But, I mean, that is really pretty. I haven't used it on my face yet, but it seems to be a really nice sort of satin finish bronzer. And, of course, it is brand new, so I am definitely going to keep this. And then what I was mentioning before was this one from Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty Glowish in the shade 03 Tan Light. I got this on Black Friday. This is just a mini. They did have the full size on sale, but since I have so many other bronzers, I was like, I'll just go ahead and get the mini. This seems actually really similar to that one from Dior, just based on how they're swatching. I feel like the one from Dior is probably a little bit smoother. This one still is very smooth, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I mean, the colors actually look very similar as well, but this is also pretty new, so I am going to keep that one as well. Then I think another one I want to keep is this one here from Positions Formula. This is just a mini of the Butter Bronzer. This is probably one of my darker, like, more pigmented bronzers that I have. Like I guess it isn't darker, but it's, it's more pigmented. I feel like this one I really don't need to layer up very often. 
I feel like once I put it on, like it really just shows up. So I do like this and I will keep that one also. Then another newer one, see I keep, I mentioned before, I have like a ton of new ones. I have this from Hula, this is, or from Benefit, this is the original Hula bronzer. And this one is also really, really good. So it's not so much darker, but it is a lot more um, like neutral or cool. It's not very warm at all. So yeah. Again, I really have been enjoying that, and that is more of a matte finish bronzer. Let's see, maybe one that I can go ahead and get rid of. I think I'm, it's finally time for me to get rid of this Pacifica duo. This is the Desert Sunset Matte Blush and Bronzer. And as you can see, I use the bronzer a lot. Although, most of the time I was using the bronzer was because I was using the blush. And the blush, I do think, is very pretty, but my blush collection is, like, so extensive now that I really don't need that. So, yeah. And, I mean, the bronzer is, pr it's, like, pretty good, but I have some other ones that I prefer over this one, and I wouldn't reach for this one individually. So, I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Pacifica. I'll swatch this on the other side just so you could see what the blush color looked like. It's very pretty. It's like a nice sort of terracotta color, but again, I have so many blushes now that I don't really need the specific one anymore, so I'm definitely going to get rid of it. Then, one that I'm not sure about is this one here from Kiko. I really like it. It's just so big that it doesn't sit with my, like, regular sort of makeup collection, and the shade of it is a little bit orangey, so I just don't know about it because I have so many other new ones. I don't know. This one's a maybe for now. I might get, if I get rid of some other ones, then I might keep it. But if I'm not really getting rid of, oops, if I'm not really getting rid of anything else, then I will go ahead and get rid of it. But for now, I'm just going to leave that on the side. But next one I have is this hourglass one. The packaging on these gets like so dirty, like from setting spray, but this is in the shade luminous bronze light. And I am going to keep this one. This one is really, really, really pretty. And Let's see, I feel like I'm not doing good swatches with these. So there is that hourglass one on the end. This one is way more radiant and has almost sort of like a little bit of a sparkle to it. Not glittery, but just kind of shimmery. And I do really like it, so I'm going to keep that hourglass one. Then for NARS, I have my mini that just came for my birthday gift from Sephora. So I do have this and... I mean, I do really like it, but I have this duo here that my boyfriend got for me last year for my birthday, and this is the Iconic Glow Cheek Duo. It has the Laguna Bronzer and the Orgasm Blush, so it does have the same bronzer, and let me see. Let me just make sure that when I'm swatching them, they look the same. Yeah, I mean, those are the same bronzer, so I think I can get rid of the mini one because I do want to keep this duo since it was a gift from my boyfriend, so it's pretty special, and it does have the blush in it as well, which is good because this is a pretty popular blush color. I don't really wear it that much. It's a little bit pink for, like, what I prefer, but, I mean, it could be pretty. It's very sheer, um, but it does have a pretty gold shift, so I don't know, but yeah, I will be keeping this one, and I'm going to get rid of the mini one. Then I have this one here from Nabla. This is the Skin Bronzing Bronzer in the shade Ombra. And this one's really good. You can see I've used a lot of it. It has a very sheer, like it's very buildable, but the color of it is really nice. I feel like these are all looking kind of warm on my hand right now, but on the face they're like much more sort of neutral. But this one I do really, really like. And again, it's more buildable, so I think that uh, it'll be really pretty for like kind of the winter time, and it does have a little bit of a glow to it as well. So I will be holding on to that one. Then I have this one here. This is a mini bronzilla from The Balm. This one I think I got in like an Ipsy, and I did actually use it a lot. I do really like it. It is, again, a little bit darker, and I feel like it's pretty like pigmented. So yeah, I mean, you can see it is definitely pretty dark, but I feel like I was using this as sort of like my darker bronzer, but now that I have the Hoola, which I'm pretty sure this is the Hoola, I like the tone of the Hoola a little bit more for as like acting as like my dark bronzer, so I think that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Bronzilla. I have this one. This is the Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronzer. The packaging on here is like peeling for some reason, which is kind of weird, uh, but the bronzer itself I do actually really like, and I don't know if you'll be able to see yeah, I don't know how well you'll be able to kind of see that, but I do have a pretty good dip going in this, and I really like how this bronzer uh, looks on me. Sorry, I just removed some of the 
bronzer so i had a little bit of makeup remover on my hand but you can see that this one is super super glowy and radiant and i don't know i just really really like this one and i use that one quite a bit actually so definitely gonna keep that then these two i guess these three they're some of my older ones and i'm not really sure what to do this one has kind of some sentimental value to me i bought this when i was in the city with my boyfriend's sister and went to a sephora and i was really excited to buy this but i feel like at this point i just don't really need it anymore i have my hula i have other bronzers that i like way more uh, even the dior one that one is another sort of more matte bronzer and i don't know i think i'm just finally ready to kind of get rid of this one because i have some other new things in my collection so yeah i think i'm going to get rid of the ciate oh and i don't think i showed this is in palm island by the way then I have this one here from Too Faced. This is the Pineapple Sun bronzer, and it has like this sort of glowy half, and then, I mean, they're both glowy, but this one is sort of like a highlight, basically, like it's really not a bronzer. And then it has the bronzer side, which I really, really like the bronzer side. I like how deep it is, and then that's like the more highlighty side. Let me see if I mix them together, if it's like too glowy to kind of use as a bronzer. I mean, that definitely does just sort of look like a highlight, I don't know what to do because I really I like I always want to keep this one because it is like really really pretty mm, I don't know but I guess if I had to pick one or the other I would prefer to keep the Kiko one so mm, I don't know I might just keep both for now Ugh, I just don't I think I would miss this if I got rid of it so I think I'm gonna keep it and then same thing I think I would miss this one if I got rid of it so I'm just gonna keep both of those for now as you can see I have way 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 more blush than bronzer I have so much blush and a lot of this I don't even use or I just have not used in forever or it's old and I can just get rid of it so i guess first thing we have here is this one from kylie this is the we're going shopping blush this is in their her old formula so i feel like it's just kind of irrelevant and i don't really wear these sort of like pinky colors anymore i don't know something about this one it's just not the color that i typically like to go for for blush so i am going to get rid of it it's also pretty old again this is in her old packaging and old formula so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that then I have this from Patrick Ta, which is really weird looking, but I do think that I'm also going to get rid of this. This is in the shade She's That Girl, and I don't know who I thought I was when I bought this. This is extremely pink. Um, it has the cream side and the powder side. I only used the cream side maybe like twice, and same thing goes for the powder side. This one, it's just not the colors that I typically like to go for. It's still pretty new, like I only got it within the last couple of months or so, but I just have barely, barely used it. And yeah, I just think that it's not for me, so I am going to get rid of this one. Then another newer one that I have, this one here is from Shanta Kai, and this is the Grace blush, which is like the turtle one. And this one's really pretty. It is sort of like a pink, more pinky, but it is does have a touch of nude to it compared to like a couple other more pink blushes. So you can see this one next to the Kylie one. It just has a little bit of a more terracotta or sort of like nude hint rather than being super pink. So this is one that is a little bit more pink, but I do really like the formula of this. And it's a pink that is more wearable to me, so I will keep that one. Another sort of wearable pink I have is this one here from Seraphine Botanicals. This is their Lychee in Gold blush. And yeah, I think that's just the name of this one. And this is the blush, I feel like I say this every time, the blush that got me into blush. And it's really, really pretty. Again, it's sort of this pinky color, which I normally don't go for, but it has a really, really pretty sort of like rose gold sort of shift to it where it's really pretty on your cheeks. And the formula of this one um, makes my face look really smooth and sort of airbrushed for some reason. So I always really, really like whenever I use this blush. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. Then I have my MAC blushes. So I have four of them. I have three of them in this formula and then one of them in like the more matte formula. So out of these, I have this one here called Like Me, Love Me, which is kind of a sort of coral, almost peachy kind of color. And I definitely do like this one. It's a little bit more bright. I like using this one in the springtime and I just think it's really pretty. So I am gonna keep that one. 
Then I have the shade Lovejoy, which is has like this sort of gold shift to it and it's a little bit of a more bronze kind of color and it's way pigmented like you can see compared to that other one here it is pretty pigmented and I do really like it so I'm gonna keep that one then I have warm soul that one is like a classic and this is probably my most used it's more of a light nude and yeah I guess it has a little bit of like a pinkiness to it but I do really really like warm soul and that's probably my most used so I am gonna keep that then I have this one here. This is in their matte formula, whereas this one was in their mineralized blush formula. And this is in Prism. This one is kind of a more nude color, but I recently picked up this Tarte blush, which is a more nude color. And this one, I just never think to reach for it. It's pretty, but I just don't need it. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And I have this Tarte one in the shade Risqué, which is a nude but I like the formula of the Tarte ones way more and this one has a little bit of a touch of mauve to it and it's just a little bit darker so if I'm going for something like more nude like this I would prefer to go for that Tarte one so I'm going to keep that one then I have a couple of like creams and stuff that I'm just going to sort of like separate so I'm going to put those on the side and then we'll finish going through the powders this one is a more new one this one is from Huda Beauty Glowish this is the very juicy blush it's one of their cheeky vegan products and this is super pretty I got this in like a really really nice berry tone I thought that this would look so pretty for winter time and I literally have nothing like it and I did just get this for my birthday which was like maybe two, three weeks ago. So definitely going to hold on to that one. Then I have this one from Ciate. This is one of their, um, don't know what it's called, but it's in the shade Date Night. And this is so pretty. This is one of my like more glowy blushes. I feel like it's very similar in formula to the Milani blushes, but this one is so pretty. It is a sort of like terracotta type color. And I feel like on my face, it's way more pigmented. Let me see if I could get a little bit of a better swatch. It's marbled, so sometimes you get more highlight rather than blush. But that is the color of this one, and I really like it. Then I have Milani Luminoso, which is probably one of my favorite blushes that I've ever worn. It is really pretty. It is a like pretty much just like a peach sort of color but it is super super glowy whenever I use this sometimes I just don't even use highlight because it is that glowy but I really love this I think mine's in the old packaging I'm pretty sure they redid the packaging but I think the formulas are still the same um but yeah that is Milani Luminoso and I'm obsessed with that so I'm definitely gonna keep it then I have this one here from Ofra this is a mini in the shade Candy Apple I'm not gonna swatch this just because I've never used it before I got this in an Ipsy bag it's kind of like this sort of bright pink color that has a little bit of a spark to it and it's just not my shade so I am going to get rid of that then I have this one here from hourglass this is in the shade diffused heat and I will just do a light swatch I think this one I'm definitely gonna put on my Poshmark as well I am gonna get rid of it it is just like baby pink and it is very very light then my last powder blushes I have are from the Animal Crossing collection this one is in flower power which is sort of like a lavender lilac color and then this one is in flower tender which is a really pretty coral color this is so pretty I really really love this one it's very unique I don't wear it that often but I feel like I don't know maybe I just one day want to go for a more cool tone blush and if I'm gonna do it it's gonna be with this one and I also have the entire Animal Crossing collection so I don't want to break it up so definitely gonna keep that and then this one I'm gonna be honest this one is just not my favorite uh the sparkle in this one is a little bit more chunky and it's kind of a pretty vibrant pink color it does have a little bit of a peachiness to it that I like um if this were not an Animal Crossing one, I probably would have decluttered it, but since it's part of the collection, I do have the entire collection. This is one that I do want to keep together, so I will be keeping both of those. Alright, then we have here my cream blushes. So I don't have too many cream blushes, but I do have some that I prefer way more. So this one, I know right away I'm going to get rid of. This was from the ColourPop Limoncello collection. This is in the shade Cottage Life. The packaging on here is really weird. It like it comes off on my hands so it's like completely scraped off I do really like the color but because of the packaging and because it's even just in the stick I just don't go for things like this so I am going to go ahead and just get rid of that one 
Then another one I'm going to get rid of is this Cheek Do. As you can see, it was in my project pan and I used up a ton of it. I'm just so over it. I used a lot of it and the formula just isn't... I don't know. Like, I like it, but you have to use so much of it and it makes my brush get, like, so disgusting just because of the way that it is. It's very liquidy and, like, very sort of thick and almost a little bit greasy. Like, it looks very nice on your cheeks, but you definitely have to set it. And I don't know, it's just not my sort of vibe that I'm going for right now. And I found some other cream blushes that I like way more. So I am just going to get rid of this. And this is in the shade Kiss Kiss. A liquid blush that I do like is this one here from Glossier. This is their Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. I go through phases of this one where I use it a ton. And then other times where I like ever barely use it. I actually really like to layer this one under my Luminoso. I feel like they go really well together. And it is a like pretty unique color. It's pretty orangey on me and I do think it's pretty so I will be keeping that one then these are actually all kind of like very similar colors I have this one here from uh, from Colourpop this is the over dramatic blush this is one of their super shocks and this was another one that was in my project pan it is just very dried up at this point I do like it um, but I used up enough of it and it's getting pretty dried up so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one and then the last two blushes that I have are actually really, really similar. I have this one here from Tower 28. This is in the shade Magic Hour. Mine broke, as you can tell. Um, but the colors of these are really, really similar. I think that the Tower 28 one is a little bit more sort of sticky almost. Like it has a little bit of a more of like a slip to it. Whereas this Bobbi Brown one is really, really smooth. And I think I do prefer the formula of the Bobbi Brown. And I know that this is broken, and I know that these are pretty much the same color. I just don't feel ready to get rid of my Tower 28 one because it's still new, which is really sad that it broke because I would still be loving it. And I used it a ton, but you can see the shades are really, really similar. This one is a little bit more nude, whereas this one is a little bit more, more like rosiness to it. But I do like both of them. Uh, even though they are very similar, I am just going to go and keep both of these. So let me count these up and I will let you know how many I kept and then how many I got rid of. Okay, so I kept 14 blushes and then I got rid of eight. So that is pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. So I have all my highlight products laid out, but I did forget some blush products. So I have this one here from Clinique. This is in the shade Fig Pop. I don't know how I could forget it. It is one of my favorites. It's a really, really pretty sort of terracotta shade. And yeah, this one I really love. So definitely going to be keeping that one. Then I have this one from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Grapefruit. This is like a really, really vibrant sort of red color, which I think is very fun. I feel like I kind of want to do like a sort of really Christmassy look with like super, super blushy blush. And I don't know, I just feel like that one would be really pretty. And I do really like the formula of it. So definitely going to keep it. And then this one, I guess, is kind of a good transition from blush to highlight because this is a um, palette. This is the new Pat McGrath uh, Divine Blush and Glow palette so it has two of her blushes and then one highlight so the two blushes that it has is divine rose and then desert orchid so this is divine rose and then this is desert orchid i used divine rose once and then i've been using desert orchid i really really love these these are some of my favorite sort of blush tones really pretty mauve and then this one is just like Oh my goodness, really in love with that. So I have Divine Rose and then Desert Orchid. Really, really love those. And then I will go in with the highlight. And the highlight is called Golden Nectar. And this one is also really, really pretty. So you can see that here. Like it's super smooth. Um, I feel like I have another Pat McGrath one over here, this one. This one has a little bit more glitter to it. Whereas this one I think is very smooth. So I do really like it. And this is also like brand, brand new and I've been loving it. So definitely going to be keeping that one. And then while I have it here, this is another new one. I even still have this like protective layer on it. And then even on the mirror too. But how gorgeous is this? Like, are you serious? This is so pretty. This is, I think, in Lunar Nude. Yeah, Lunar Nude. It's one of her skin fetish ones. And this is just like so gorgeous. I'll swatch it. Let's watch it right here. You can see it's so pretty. It's definitely a different formula than the one in the palette. This one is way more sort of metallic and does have a little bit of a glow to it. It has like some sort of pink shimmer in it. 
but it's really really nice then i think i kind of want to speed through just through some of the ones that i'm going to keep i have this one here from natasha denona this is the super glow in the shade light medium number two this is so pretty. This one is another one that is like really, really stunning. So gorgeous. It is really, really sort of like that glassy skin look and I just really like it. Actually, I have these from Ofra, which Ofra is kind of mm, these days. I don't really know. The highlight formula is amazing. This is in Rodeo Drive. Mine is like 500,000 years old. It's really pretty. It is actually very similar to that new Pat McGrath one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. But I do love their formula, and this one is from Nikki Tutorials. This was her collab, and I feel like I even liked the glazed donut shade even better than Rodeo Drive. And since it's Nikki Tutorials, I feel a little bit better about keeping it. So yeah, I am going to just keep the Ofra one. Then I have this here from Smashbox. This is the Drawn In Decked Out palette and this i got for christmas like five hundred thousand years ago it is really pretty i just think it's finally time that i'm going to get rid of it and i can't believe i'm saying that because i have kept this for so long but yeah i think i'm finally going to go ahead and just get rid of it then i have this one here from nabla this is the skin glazing in the shade amnesia this one is really pretty it's sort of a like more golden kind of color and i really really like this one it's super reflective so i am going to keep that one then i have these two mac ones which i'm going to keep this one is in the shade double gleam this is one of their extra dimension skin highlighters and this is probably one of my most light sort of icy ones and it's really really pretty and a little bit more smooth you can see that the novel one has almost a kind of a bit more texture whereas that mac one is super smooth so i definitely am going to keep that one and it's also a pretty icy color which i don't have many of then i have this one in the shade soft and gentle this is the mineralized skin finish and i really like this one it's more of a nude color like it's not very pink but it's not very golden and I just really like this one. It's one that I actually reach for quite often. And again, it's sort of very smooth and I really, really like the formula of that one. So I am going to keep that one. Then I have some of these Becca ones, which are all fairly new. This one I think is maybe from like a year or two ago. This is probably one of my oldest ones. It's in Champagne Pop. I do like to keep this one just to kind of compare because I feel like a lot of people know what Champagne Pop is like. It's very similar actually to the Nabla one and it's also very similar to Precious Petals, which I like to keep these two just to kind of compare to each other. So I am going to keep that one. Then I have this one in the shade Rose Quartz, which is one of my very few pink sort of highlights so you can see it's this one over here and it's just way more pinky kind of compared to some of my other ones and i do really like that one as more of a pink highlight so definitely going to hold on to that one and that's also one of my newest then i also have it in the shade moonstone and this one i love as an inner corner highlight then i have my ones over here that are from wet and wild i think i have all of them I'm pretty sure even some that like they don't sell anymore i'm pretty sure i have all of them so the first one that i have here is blossom glow and this one is one that's sort of white that like shifts pink and it's not my favorite so i was keeping these because i was keeping like the entire collection but i think at this point i'm just going to get rid of the ones that i don't really use which is this one so i am going to go ahead and get rid of blossom glow then one that I really like, which is broken, is Precious Petals. And again, I compared this one to Champagne Pop. This one is like one of my favorites. So definitely going to keep this one. It's a little bit dark, but if I do it lightly on my skin, um, then it works out fine. So I am going to keep that one. Then I have this one, which is Golden Flower Crown, which this one I really like. It's the more gold version of Precious Petals. Precious Petals is a little bit more rose gold. So you can see that one over here. It's not as vibrant. Um, these ones I feel like are a little bit more glowy. So I think I'm just going to get rid of Golden Flower Crown. Then I have my favorite one, which is Bloom Time. And this one is a little bit more sort of pink in person. I feel like you could tell a little bit more. But it's kind of like the lighter version of the Precious Petals. And I just really like this one. And it's like my go-to. This one is really, really good. So definitely going to keep it. And then I also have this one, which is Crown of My Canopy, which is like pretty brand new. I got this one off of Poshmark because I was trying to complete the set, but this one is just like way too dark for me. So I am going to get rid of it. This one is a little bit more of a bronze. So yeah, going to get rid of that one. So I'm only keeping two 
of my Wet n Wilds, which were like my favorite for forever. And they still are, but I just don't need all of them. Then I have this one here from Stila. This is in the shade Kitten. It's their Heaven's Hue highlighter. And this is the one that's like a putty highlighter. And this is so, so pretty. It is really, really seamless on the skin. I really like this one. It reminds me kind of of the ColourPop formula. I think I like the Stila formula a little bit more. This one is a little bit more like thick, the ColourPop one. This is in the shade Lunch Money, which I do like, but mine is pretty dried out. And you can see I even hit pan on it. So I'm just going to get rid of the ColourPop one and I'm going to keep the Stila one. Uh, one other one that I have from ColourPop, this is the ColourPop Disney Villains. I got this as a gift from my boyfriend's sister, I think maybe like a year or two ago. And even though it's in the cardboard packaging, mine has held up really well. And it's a really, really unique color. It's like a gold that shifts pink, which I don't know how well you'll be able to tell on camera, but maybe you could see when it's in the pan a little bit more. But this one is really cool, so definitely going to keep it. Then I have these two here from Estate. This is in the shade Pearl. This is their Doomy. And this is really similar to the one from Wet n Wild that I got rid of. Like, it's a white with a pink shift to it. I don't really use those, so I'm going to get rid of it. And then I have this one in the shade Lit. And this one I actually really do like, so I think I'm going to keep this one. This one is very sort of like airbrushed on the skin, so I'm going to keep that one in the shade Lit. Then I have a liquid one. This is from About Face. This is their Light Lock Highlight Fluid in Fight or Flight. And this one is really, really nice. It's sort of a, I guess, like pinky kind of neutral type of color. I'll put a little bit here, and this is really pretty. I don't think I have any other liquid highlights, but if I did, this is my favorite. It's really, really pretty. I love the color of it. And it just blends out super nice, and it looks really natural. So going to keep that. Then I have this one here from Kiko, or not Kiko, from Koki. This is their Soft Glow Highlighter in the shade Heavenly. And I am going to get rid of this one. It's kind of a cream, and it's really, really pretty. It's just not, I don't know, it's just not something that I like, and it's a little bit too dark for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this one here from Kylie. This is in the shade Ice Me Out. I bought this right before all of her other stuff, uh, like, kind of went on sale. And this is really pretty. It's a very, like, super, super bright highlight. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because, again, it's in the old packaging and I just don't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this one from Pixie. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. I really like this one. I had this one in my project pan. I like to mix the two shades together. It has a more pinky and then a more golden. And I really, really like this duo, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Then these two are my most uh, like new highlights. I have this one here from Bobbi Brown in the shade Pink Glow. This one is probably like my newer, sort of more icy type of color. It is a really, really pretty sort of pink and I really like it. It's not as pink as some of my other ones that I have, but I do really like it, so I'm definitely going to keep it. And then this is my, probably my new favorite, I think, like, of all time. This is the REM in Miss Mercury. This looks so, so pretty on my skin. I'm going to put it on my other hand because it just deserves it. It is, like, so stunning. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but on my skin, like, on my face, it is just, like, the smoothest prettiest thing so that's it kind of sheared out and then I'll do like a full-on just like regular sort of swatch next to it but it is so nice I absolutely love this formula and I'm even kind of tempted to pick this up in some different shades um because I really like this this is my current favorite and if you want to see me try it out like on my actual skin um I do have a video I think it's like probably my most recent video where I tested out some Black Friday makeup, um, and I also tested out a couple of REM stuff, and this was in the video. It's so, so good. Absolutely loved it. So yeah, I'm going to keep those two, and that is it for my declutter for today. Let me go ahead and count up the highlights, and I'll let you know how many I kept, and then how many I got rid of. Okay, so I kept 18 highlighters, and then I got rid of 9 highlighters, so I probably could have done better, but a lot of these on here I do really, really like, and I feel good even just about getting rid of, like, the ones from Wet n Wild that I've been holding on to. Like, now that I only have two, I feel really good. Like, got rid of three of those, and yeah. I feel like this was just enough stuff that I got rid of to kind of clear up a ton of space in my makeup drawer, which is the main reason why I wanted to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's declutter, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!